Hey guys, we have here the Sony SRS XB13 wireless Bluetooth speaker and in this video we want to explain to you how to charge this speaker. So first of all, how do you know when it is time to charge the speaker? The battery life of the speaker ranges from 16 down to 5 hours depending on how loud you play your music. And eventually the charging LED right underneath the power button, right here, this is going to start slowly blinking in orange. So when you see that starting to blink, then you know it is going to be time soon to charge the battery. The second way is to check on your smartphone. And here, for example, this Android, Samsung Android phone, you see here the battery percentage right now is at 70%. Now, in case you do have an iPhone, then you can check it there as well. It just works a little bit differently. Now, how do we actually charge the speaker? And we have this little flap here on the right side of the uh, button panels. And we can just open this up by putting our fingernail in there. And then we see here the USB Type-C charging port. And here we can connect the USB charging cable that came with the speaker. So this is really easy. Just use the one end that fits in there, the smaller one. Plug it in firmly. And the other end, we're going to connect this, for example, with the charging cube of our smartphone. Or if you have a computer or a laptop with a USB port, then you can plug this in there as well. Just make sure that your USB charger supplies at least 500 milliamps, which is the case for pretty much any charger that you can buy today. So, for example, if you do have a 2 or a 3 amp charger, then those will be perfectly fine to be used. Now, in case you already have other devices that come with a USB Type-C charger, for example, your laptop or like a Nintendo Switch, uh, then you can use this one just directly. So you can use this charger instead of using the original uh, charging cable. So this connector will fit in there just as well and you can use this instead to charge the speaker. So now let us actually plug in the other end of the cable so that the charging process begins. So I have here this uh, charging station that I'm in general using. And now when we take a look at the speaker right underneath the power button, then you see here the LED right next to charge is now illuminated. So this indicates the charging process has started and uh, it takes up to four and a half hours for a full charge. So of course, if you started charging your speaker before the battery was completely empty, then it is going to take less time. And if you're wondering if you can use the speaker while it is being charged, then the answer to that question is yes. So it's no problem uh, to actually use the speaker. Right now you see here the speaker is turned on, so it is able to uh, play music right now and is connected to my phone. We just need to consider that when we're also using the speaker, it is going to take eventually a lot longer for the battery to be completely charged. So in general, if you want to have your battery charged as quickly as possible, then you want to make sure that you turn off the speaker so that it doesn't uh, use up any more energy. So just press the power button, make sure it's turned off, and now, and now we are going to get the shortest charge time possible. Okay, so now how do you know that the battery is actually fully charged? And we can disconnect the charging cable again, and that is indicated by the uh, charging LED, of course. So when this LED turns off, that means the battery is fully charged and now at this point we can then disconnect the USB cable again. So, so of course we don't want to wait all this time right now in this video, so I'm just going to not wait for this LED to turn off, which is perfectly okay. You don't always have to fully charge the battery. Just one thing you don't really want to do is just connect the charging cable for like a short amount of time and that multiple times. That's not good for the battery. Now when we disconnect the charging cable, make sure to pull it out nice and straight. Uh, don't like bend the uh, cable while it is still plugged into the speaker otherwise the charging port may get damaged over time and then eventually uh, you won't be able to charge the speaker anymore and that will unfortunately render it useless so uh, and then once we disconnect the cable make sure that you put the uh, dust and waterproof cover here on the speaker again just press it in there firmly and now there's no uh, dirt or water and dust going in there and we'll be able to use our speaker for a long time. Okay, so this was it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.